There's some, many issues that need to be addressed and that's what we're here to do. I'm here primarily to fight economic uh, injustice in our society today as well as to undo influence that corporations have on our democracy through the unlimited amounts of money they can contribute to our democracy. Freedom aid free, you know we gotta make it happen. Many of these signs are back from last year, but a lot of them are new to reflect the most current issues. Although after today, it's tough to tell if any of them will make another appearance. It took days of planning ahead with police for this protest picnic. Police tell us there have been no issues yet, but occupiers say they're being allowed to stay for the day on the condition that they leave by 10. If I had in my way, we would probably continue to be here day in, day out, as long as it was sustainable, if we could do it sustainably. Um, and not be a burden to anybody, including the environment, the city. And although there are no other dates set for the protest, they promise to be back. Will you be seeing us out here a lot more? Yes. Whether it's with the Occupy movement or another cause. The 99% spring gathers here, people having petitions to sign gather here, uh, people who uh, were part of the Recall Rick rally started here. Demonstrating how Ruder Park is becoming a hub for residents to act on their First Amendment rights. In Lansing, Hannah Saunders, Fox 47 News. All right, occupiers also say they've been in touch with the mayor's office about plans to occupy the park in the future. They did say they have been in talks about what it would cost the city to continue to host them. We have a call into the mayor now. We'll let you know as soon as we get more information.